Hello, and welcome to Gunpla Reviews, where it's myself versus my shelf. Over 200 model kits and a queue of reviews to do. Much to my dismay, we must never exclude something from the collection, and today we are covering the Core Gundam G3 Color and V2 Unit from Gundam Build Divers Re-Rise from the year of our Bandai Lords 2019. So, before we get into it, let us discuss the manual. So previously, when we discussed the Mercury One unit over here on the side, we went over the Core Gundam's general articulation. Nothing different from any other Core Gundam. Head Wob, Exorcist Twirl, Full Arm, Bicep Rotation, Elbow Flex. Leg forward and back. Legs out to side, something I tend to forget to mention. Thigh rotation. The knee. And necessary ankle articulation. He can kick himself in the butt. Yeah, get that arm set right. Bam! There we go. You look a little funny. Our small boy comes with two long green effect beam saver parts, my favorite red and green color, two short dagger style types, the usual shield, the little plug on the inside for plugging onto wherever, and the regular little beam pistol rifle thingamaboo. Also, something that I always like, non-standard polycap colors. Always a good day. So now, the part that kind of upsets me just a little bit, most certainly point loss, is the V2 unit itself. What you get with the kit is just the V2 unit by itself. There's nothing in particular wrong with it, just, well, we'll get there. Let's go ahead and start detaching. Parts. Maybe from the Core Lander. Oh, Planet System, that's what it's called. Not the Core Lander, it's Planet System. Get all that off there. All these tiny pieces off of here. This, this part. Shoulder piece. Shoulder piece. That. Backpack adapter? I don't know if I need that or not. I think I do. Back piece. Uh, must be very careful with our face mask. There it goes. And our body parts. With everything disassembled, we will go into the speed to get him equipped.
And so we have a fully formed V2 Gundam. Now, naturally there's nothing wrong with this. Like, the articulation remains more or less entirely the same. Full rotation up here. But you get a shoulder lift about this high with the armor a little blocking. Bicep is still unobstructed. You do lose like the tiniest bit of arm flex, but that's only because of the armor. Your legs still get front kick, but of course lose all that back kick. Then, well, that was my fault. He can still kick himself in the butt, so you get a very hearty knee bend. I, that's my own fault for knocking that off. It didn't fall off. It was the way I told you. At the foot here, you also get full flattening power. It's very impressive. So, unfortunately, I've already discussed the accessories that he comes with. He has his beam sabers, his shield, and his gun. Bandai, and all the wonderful things that they do do for us, have chosen that all of the core Gundam variants will only come with the armor. Your Mars 4, your V2, only come with the armor and the stock core Gundam uh, sword board, sword board that they all come with. They have requested that you make an additional purchase to have the V2 weapons, which is the same problem that you have for the Mars 4, which is the same problem we get for the Mercury 1. I'm pretty certain that the Jupitide comes with everything you see in that box, and that's not a model that I own. Matter of fact, I didn't purchase this either. This was a wonderful gift uh, during our Plebwa. Uh, the, what is it called now? Secret Santa Exchange. And I do appreciate that I got this because it gave me an extra core Gundam for the set that I did want. But you still lose out on the full experience because it wants you to purchase extra weapons that could have easily been included in the box when you're selling a full set. It's... I don't get it. I, I, I don't get that. I just don't. You gave the Earth 3, you know, a, a hefty gun that attaches to its included stuff, but you didn't give the Mars 4 or the V2 their weapons. And then, as opposed to making one purchase for the Mercury 1 armor and the Mercury 1 weapons, you instead have to make two separate purchases. It's unfair but marketing i i am not a marketeer i am just a plebeian that likes giant robots so unfortunately due to that the v2 armor not the core gundam itself but the v2 armor is going to go in the back row in this case this is not a kit that you would regret buying it's not a bad kit but it's certainly something that has no problem sitting in your backlog or if you have hearty amount of kits and you have to like position them in a place this one's definitely going in the back row if you were a, a, a unit in a video game you would use it when you have to but you don't really see a use for it otherwise. There are better units that you can field on that stage. But as such, I thank y'all for watching. Stay tuned for more model kits, and more of this show, and more of my giant robot antics. And as always, Sieg Zeon. <laughs>